Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, and today I have for you a Dollar Tree haul. I am super excited to show you guys the items that I got for this Dollar Tree haul in particular because I went out of town twice to Dollar Trees that I don't normally go to. So we did go to Madison and Des Moines. So I have items from Dollar Trees that I don't normally go. There was definitely different items at these stores and they were definitely different than the stores that I have locally. So they were a lot more stocked and a lot more organized. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing what I got at the Dollar Trees on my out of town trips, then stay tuned. a subscriber thank you thank you thank you so much i greatly appreciate it if you are not please consider subscribing i do mostly unboxings makeup videos dollar tree hauls things like that so if those are the types of videos you're into then please join us give this video a thumbs up if you like it hit the gray bell if you want to be notified when i upload and without further ado let's get into this dollar tree haul i'm just gonna go buy bags if there's gonna be some stuff that's out of order from like i try to usually do it in categories but i've went to so many stores i just have everything in bags so i'm just gonna go buy bags so i'm not really sure what store it came from i can try to remember but i'm just gonna go through it with you guys and show you what i got so starting with the first bag Oh, I was super excited to find these. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys these. So um, I'm just going to start with this little thing since happy October, finally. It is spooky season and I cannot wait. So I did find this. There was two of these, not this particular one. There was two different um, CDs for Halloween, only two on the shelf. I picked up this one because I thought it was super cute. It's an emoji. And it says it has 20 coloring pages. So Sounds of Horror Music CD. Here's what the back looks like. And it's Emoji. So it's a brand name. The official brand, Sounds of Horror. Emoji coloring book inside. Oh, so that's awesome. Coloring book and includes a music CD. So let's open it. Let's just open it because I'm curious about these coloring pages. But for a dollar, I was so excited when I saw this. The other CD that was there had two CDs in it and it was just the creepy music. Okay, so here, oh, it's a little mini one. Oh, it's super cute though. So here's the coloring book. <laughs> it just has little coloring pages, but my son will love this because he loves Halloween and anything horror. So he'll definitely color this. Oh, the owl, that's super cute. Okay. So anyway, here's what the CD looks like. So there's the actual CD. So we have on the back, it says, ghostly sounds, howling wind and thunder, frightening groans, moans, suspenseful music, howling werewolves, grave diggers and rattling chains, squeaking doors and more. So this is like one of those CDs that you'd put on your porch or whatever from the trick or treaters come up and they can hear the creepy noises and music and stuff like that. For ambiance, I like to play music. Like I like to play Christmas music when we decorate for Christmas and I've never, I've not had one of these Halloween CDs. I usually just try to play Halloween kids radio when we decorate for Halloween, but I might play this next time because that's super cool. So Anyway, that was a great deal for a dollar. Let's start out this video with a lot of talking. So let's go ahead and get to the next item I found was this little tic-tac-toe game. Now there was there was like four or five different games. I only grabbed tic-tac-toe because my daughter loves playing this game. Um, so here's what it looks like when you open it. It has the little magnets. You gotta pop them out and then the board is here. Sticks, magnetic, super cool. I thought this would be great for the car. I should have grabbed like a bunch of them and just threw them in the car because these would be great for road trips. If the kids were bored or if you were stuck somewhere, you could pull these out. So anyway, my daughter loves tic-tac-toe, so I just grabbed the tic-tac-toe one. But now that I'm thinking about it, I might grab more next time I see them. <laughs> the next item I found is this. This is by Jot, so it is a Dollar Tree brand, but it is a desk organizer. So there's five pieces. 
So this long tray, three little ones, and then the big one here on the bottom that holds them all together. I might use this in my desk. I was debating leaving these in the big one because it would almost be more organized because then they all stay together. But you could take them out and use the big one as well if you had a big desk drawer or something that you were trying to fill. But I'm going to use these in my little tiny desk. So I'll probably keep it like this and just stick it in the drawer. Hopefully it will fit and then use it for to organizing all of my junk <laughs> but yeah i thought this was super nice for a dollar super handy i love little containers for organizing it seems like if you have a little container to put stuff in it just seems a little bit more organized for me i'm i have an organization problem <laughs> i need to be more organized so hopefully this will help me <laughs> Now, Junk Shirt has some new gloves out. Now, these are super thin. They're not like anything like thick or fancy or anything like that. They're just, you know, for when it starts to get a little chilly and you want your hands covered. These are not snow playing gloves or anything like that. They're just to cover your hands to keep them warm, just the thin type. But I grabbed them for my daughter because they have the rainbow in the sucker. So um, instantly, anytime I see anything with rainbow or anything like that, I just pick it up automatically for her and stick it away or give it to her. So um, I got these for her because they're super cute. Now they had other ones with dogs, french fries, weird crazy stuff like that. So they're super cute. This is a lollipop. If you can actually see the stick there. All right, the next three things that I'm about to show you, they're the same kind of product. But oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw these for a dollar. Can't even tell you. Um, so I found leg warmers. Oh my gosh. Like I cannot seriously even tell you how excited I was when I saw these leg warmers. My husband thought I was crazy, but, um, there was one more color and it was black, but I already have black leg warmers, so I didn't need them. But I grabbed these three because these colors are beautiful. White, which is it's like a creamy off-white gray and this pinky I don't know what color you would call this not mauve because that's it's not dark enough maybe but like a light baby pink <gasps> so cute so um boot season is coming we've just hit fall here um so the leaves are starting to drop but it's unusually warm for this time of the year sometimes we get lucky and we get warm weather throughout October but usually it's snowing by the end of October so we will see what this year holds for us but so far it's still warm outside where you can wear tank tops and capris so we've been lucky so cross my fingers that it holds out for a little bit longer because I love fall and getting into the crisper weather with the bonfires but I still like it to be warm during the day so this is my favorite season and time of the year so these are going to be coming in handy soon though because it's going to get cold here and it's going to snow a lot so um I love wearing boots I love wearing leg warmers um you can put these on and then put your boots on like boot socks it's super cute they look awesome coming off the top so I like having all these colors of them to match my outfits and whatnot. But anyway, well, I love leg warmers. So for a dollar, usually I get my leg warmers at Ragstock and they're like $8 a pair, which I don't think was a bad, I didn't think that was a bad price, $8, but seeing them for a buck, I grabbed them. <laughs> All right, and then in this bag, I do have a few makeup items. So at one of the stores, I was able to find some, I think two e.l.f. and two... Yes, two e.l.f. and two hard candy. So I'll show you the hard candy. First, I was able to find this lipstick. And this is an Envy and it is green. So let me swatch for you guys so you can see. You can't really see the color. You can kind of see the color, but there's the color swatched. It's like a dark green, which Envy. Oh, there's the top. Oh, it has it on there. Anyway, there it is. It's really pretty. And normally I wouldn't buy this color of a lipstick, but um, Halloween right around the corner and all that. You never know when you're going to need a green cream color lipstick. You could use this for other stuff too, like witch face or something like that. So definitely grab that for a dollar. You cannot beat it. The other hard candy product I picked up was this, which is a liquid lip color and then a pencil. And this is in purple, which once again, I wouldn't normally buy this color, but it was the only color that they had it in. It's called In the Navy. Maybe it's blue. I can't, it looks purple through there, but it might be navy blue because it's called In the Navy. So, um, but but let me try to pop it out of the case here so we can swatch it and see if it's purple or blue. But again, I thought with Halloween around the corner, if you want to be a witch or a vampire or whatnot, you know, you might need a dark colored lip. So we can't go wrong with that. It does look purple. It looks purple to me, but it, it might be navy. I've been told my colors are off. So there is what it looks like swatched. But super good deal for a dollar for the liner and 
the liquid lip. So I thought those were cool for Halloween time. Definitely picked them up for that. Now the two e.l.f. products I got, um, this one was in a box, but my husband took it out of the box while he was playing with it. I don't know why, he's weird. But anyway, it's just a lip, what is it called? Retro Paradise, and it's just a lip gloss. So um, Dream On Lip Gloss. It's very, very pretty. It's just a shiny, kind of sparkly, it's very pretty. So it looks blue, but it's it's not. It's just a lip gloss. <laughs> so there's what it looks like. But anyway, the other e.l.f. product that I got is a lip tint. And it's peach. No, perfect peach is the shade. Let me grab it out of the box once again. Here so we can see. These boxes are so weird. I know. I know. Oh, it's a pretty packaging. So, oh, it looks, so this is a tint. So I'm guessing this is going to be more like a balmy type of, oh yeah. Put it right here. There it is. Just has this, oh, this is really pretty. It just has this like peach tint. I love things like this to throw in my purse. You can just pop them on, to give your lips a little bit more moisture and it just makes them look a little bit more pretty with that little tint of color. So sweet, super excited about that. All right, moving on to the next bag. I only have two things in this bag and this was from one of the stores that we stopped at in Madison. I remember specifically because I picked these two things up for my mother-in-law and they were the only two things that I got in that particular store and I was super excited to find them. I didn't see these, hadn't seen these, have not seen these in any other stores so far. So let me just stop talking and show you guys. So yes, we have gnome Halloween, gnome Halloween towel and oven mitt. I guess it's not Halloween, it could be fall, because it's just fall, it's no pumpkins or anything on it. It's just fall Halloween type of colors. Aren't they so adorable? Oh my gosh, so my mother-in-law loves gnomes. Anytime I see anything gnomes, I pick it up for her. Super excited when I found these two pieces. She's gonna love them. Next bag, quick while we're on the topic of gnomes and Madison. This was also a store in Madison, I remember, because I found this little guy now. If you remember last year, these gnomes came out last year and they were red and gray, I think. And I was only able to find the red. So I have gotten two reds, one for me and one for my mother-in-law. So um, I didn't find the gray, but I finally found the gray. Unfortunately, there was only one in the entire store that was gray. All the rest were red again. So I picked him up real quick and grabbed him and I'm gonna give him to her as well because he goes with the red one so nicely, but there he is, super cute. These are actually quite big and nice for a dollar. They got beans in the butt, so they sit up nicely. It's a nice size and it's nice quality, I think for a dollar. So anytime I see him, I grab him. I hope I find another gray one for myself, but if I don't, that's no big deal. I was just happy that I found one at least for her. I also picked up two more of these. Um, if you've seen my Dollar Trees in the past, I, I believe I hauled these in a video in the past, but I have grabbed these in the past. They're by Bolero, which is, I don't think it's a Dollar Tree brand, but I believe Dollar Tree carries it quite often. You can almost always find it there. But I did find these in the past and I grabbed them because it's for texture, curls, and waves. It's um, banana and avocado oil shampoo and conditioner set. And I've used two sets of them so far. And I really do love the way it makes my hair feel and it leaves my curls. It really does a great job for a dollar. Like I really can't complain. So um, anytime I see them, I grab them and repurchase them because I've been using, I think I've gone through two of each bottle, like two sets. And I have grabbed two more sets because I found two while we were in Madison. I haven't seen them back in my local stores yet. So I seen them there. There was only two sets. So I scooped them up for myself. But yeah, if you have curly hair and you want a cheap shampoo and conditioner and you see this at your Dollar Tree, I would grab it because I think it's fantastic. I was also super excited to find these satin pillowcases. I've hauled satin pillowcases on this channel multiple times in the past at my local stores, but I've never found these patterns that I found at this store. So I found these leopard print ones. Oh my gosh, aren't they adorable? Love that. And then I found these honeycomb pattern. It almost reminds me of Spider-Man, but it's a honeycomb pattern. So um, yeah, these were super cute and you cannot beat these. For a dollar, I will say having having multiple sets of these, they do not hold up well. If you are looking for a nice durable pillowcase that's gonna last you multiple washes, it ain't these. <laughs> no, but they're a dollar each, so you really can't complain. I mean, I probably have gotten 
three or four washes out of them before they start to fray and tear. If you have earrings and you sleep in your earrings, they really snag a lot. And then you might only get two or three washes out of them. But I'm, I'm saying like five washes max and then they start to unravel on the corners. I mean, if you don't mind, you can use them till they rip out, but they do not wear well. So just a heads up on that if you are curious, but I do like finding them for a buck because satin pillowcases are supposedly good for your skin and hair. So, I mean, if you can find two of them for a buck and they last you five washes, it's not really that bad of a deal in my opinion, but just be mindful that these do not hold up well in my opinion, but they are nice pillowcases. They do fit the pillow nicely and they do last, you know, like I said, five, I'm, in my opinion, five washes. All right, this next bag is from my local Dollar Tree. I do remember this. It's been a while. This bag's been sitting here and I forgot about it. So I'll just show you guys what's in it real quick. I did find two hair pieces. I've hauled this clip in the past in a different color. I actually used it the other day and I loved it. So I picked it up in another color. I really like this color. It's pretty teal color. And then these were just butterfly barrettes. I thought they were super cute with the little metal butterfly. Two for a buck. So grab those. Now these are a lot of socks I grabbed. So let me organize them here. Oh, okay. I remember. So these I've hauled. If you've watched my Dollar Tree hauls in the past, you've seen me haul these socks. They are the super soft socks. They're just the no-show women's. They're I think they're by the Dollar Tree brand, Greenbrier. Yes, they're Dollar Tree brand. But oh my gosh, they're so soft, and I love them. They're super soft. I just love the way that they feel. I had hauled a striped pair in the past. It was a black and white striped pair. And um, I wore them in my shoes and it felt amazing. So I saw these and grabbed them right away. I also grabbed two other socks that they had because these are Polo, Beverly Hills Polo Club, which would be a brand name. And you get two pairs of socks in each pack. These are really thick and nice feeling as well. So this one has unicorns and then this one has sprinkles. And then these ones have hedgehogs and then the other pair is just striped. So, oh, look at the isn't it cute super cute so grabbed those all right the next couple bags are um from my local dollar tree because i was there today and i got a couple things so um i was able to find a new shampoo and conditioning set so i'm going to save this for when i'm all out of the bolero one and then try this one out but it is a three step set here and so here is what the shampoo and conditioner bottles look like it is by Dark and Lovely Damage Slayer. Texture Bond fights seven damage factors. Gently cleanses and nourishes. So this is like it restores your hair, which my hair is frizzy and curly and damaged. So I like the restoration products as well. So I thought I would give these a try. It also had this one, which was the leave-in spray. This is moisturized, detangles, and adds shine. This is with lotus flower. Ooh, so this is like a leave-in conditioning treatment. I love these kinds of sprays for my type of hair. I spray these on when it's dry. I spray these on when it's wet. I spray these on heavily. <laughs> I use my hair products very heavily. So my hair is really thick. So anyway, this is awesome. I was super excited to find this three-piece set. All right, the next two things I found, I was so super excited to find these. Oh my gosh, aren't they adorable? They are plastic, but one is a black skull and one is a ghost. Now these are hand soaps for the bathroom. The black skull is pomegranate vanilla scented and the ghost is coconut lime scented. Um, I just love that these are Halloween themed. Um, like if your aesthetic is spooky, you could use this all year round, this black skull one, it's so cool. You could leave it out all year round if that was your aesthetic, I wish I could. But anyway, I grabbed these for Halloween to put in my bathrooms. They are adorable, I cannot wait to put them out. So I need to get this haul done so I can put them out. Also in the Halloween department, I found this. Tis the season to be spooky. Now this is just a little, it's hollow and it has a thing on the back you could hang it on the wall, it's just a little sign. I have one back here in my background that says trick or treat. I kind of liked this one better and I was thinking about replacing it with this one because I like it better. So maybe I'll just put it on top and keep both. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I put them together? Or should I put just the spooky season or both? I don't know. 
You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about that in the background. Bag, I grabbed this Colgate toothpaste, baking soda and peroxide whitening. I I bought this three times now at the Dollar Tree. Anytime I go in and they have one and mine's getting like kind of low, I, I grab it because this is a great deal for a dollar. This is the full size one, the five ounce product. Like usually from the dollar store, you're getting like the, the little littler boxes, not travel size, but not full, full size. So I'm super excited when I see this one, I grab it because for a book, that is a great deal. Also grab these nail files by Diamond. Um, they had a little neat display. So Diamond Cosmetics, I'm pretty sure this is a brand name, but they had a little display. It had four different ones of these. I think there was four and each one had different little saying. Mine is into the wild. And then the nail files are like cheetah, zebra or whatever, and little leaves, palm leaves. Love it. Super cute. Love the designs on them. But the other ones, I can't remember them all. One had lemons on it. I almost got that one because it was super cute, but they all had little cute sayings. I should have took a picture of it, but I hate filming and stuff when I'm in the Dollar Trees because I feel weird. So these are super cute. If you see them, there's like five different ones. It, I almost didn't think know what it was because they're this way out and they're all different colors. There's like green, yellow, pink, blue. You had to read it to see what it was. So glad I looked at it because they're all different in the back, on the back. Also found these socks. So I've watched many, many YouTubers find gold toe socks awesome amazing gold toe socks and i've been on the lookout for them and i have not found any in my dollar trees or even the ones i visited out of town they didn't even have any there so um that sucks because my husband works he he wears dress outfits when he works so he wears dress socks so i've been really on the hunt for those gold toe dress socks because they look super nice and i want to get him some but anyway this gold toe product was the only product that i've seen gold toe it was the only one on the shelf and so i grabbed it right away these are the little ballet shoe liners um and low cut liners and this one says massaging there's two pairs in here actually so that's a fabulous deal for a dollar and the bottoms are like thick and they have these little grippy things so i'm guessing it like massages your feet when you walk on it like a cushion kind of thing but i'm not sure but actually the retail value is on the back still and you can see right here that these were ten dollars originally so that's crazy i got them for a dollar so you cannot beat that um also this was the other name brand thing that i found this was the only um style pattern design i don't know what we call it picture of this mask there was a whole box of them but they were all the same one it's by ty we're happy about that I will, this will definitely go to my daughter she will love it she loves T.Y. Beanie Baby stuff and she loves cats. It's super cute so she'll love that. And then the last items that I'm going to show you, the last items that I picked up. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I hit the jackpot on these. I could not believe it when I saw these. There was a cart full of boxes and I almost didn't walk up to it and look to see what was in it. But I did then and I found these. So um, Hanes face masks. So, oh my goodness, this was a deal of a lifetime. Um, 10 face masks in here. They are washable, soft three-ply, 100% cotton, adjustable nose piece, breathable, washable, and reusable. Wicking cool comfort, 10. These are white, one size fits most adult standard face masks. So there's what the front looks like. There's what the back looks like. So... Wow. And then the other one is, this one only has five in it, but these are kids sizes. So same deal um, with all the benefits of it, but these are for five to 12 year olds. So these are more child size masks. So I grabbed two boxes of each of these because I wasn't sure. I think these ones will probably fit my older kids and then these ones will fit the younger kids. So my kids still have to wear masks to school and we still have to wear masks out in the um, public areas around our town and stuff like that. So we still need them. So I grabbed these because with school days, they go through them like crazy. So it's always good to stack up and Hanes and for a dollar, oh my gosh, for a dollar, 10 masks and five masks. I, I thought, oh my goodness, this is the, a great deal. I cannot pass this up. So like I said, I grabbed two boxes of each, but enough about that. This was the final item that I grabbed today at my trip 
to the Dollar Tree. Super excited. So thank you so much everyone who has stayed tuned and watched this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some items that you want to go look for at your local Dollar Trees. I have a special guest that wants to say something. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. End yeah. the video now. <laughs> okay, get out of here. You're a little early there, bro. Happy Halloween for when it comes, but happy October because it is today is actually October 1st. This probably won't get posted until Sunday or Monday, but um, yeah, happy October. So thank you everyone who has stuck around and watched. Thank you everyone who is a subscriber. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Like I said, I do mostly fashion, makeup, jewelry related types of videos, haul videos, so if those are the types of videos that you're into, then please consider joining us. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the gray bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!